What's up guys? So I got me a Rhino slider. One of these amazing sliders and trust me this is an amazing slider. Um, but I saw some other things while I was looking for the Rhino slider and I really wanted them because I wanted to do um, like motion time lapses with my slider. It's a big reason I got it. Rhino has the Rhino Arc and the Rhino Motion and the Rhino Arc is like $3.99 and the Rhino Motion is like $5.99. So they're really expensive. So altogether that's like a thousand dollars to have like motorized time lapse. To me it's a little much. So I so I so I cranked up the old brain cells and I thought of something. Um, I had seen something somewhat like this before on the internet. Not really, but somewhat. And I, um, I looked up and see if anybody had done this specific thing and I didn't find anything else on YouTube about it. So I went and bought this. This is the O-Bolt. It's by Black Bolt and it's like a GoPro Hero time-lapse mount thing or whatever. It goes in a, it spins in a 360. But this is $40. For $40, and I had some extra parts laying around. For $40, you get motorized time-lapse. It's amazing, it's easy, and it's cheap. Way cheaper than a thousand dollars. I know the Rhino, the Rhino Motion also does like um, 360 on the head itself as well, versus just back and forth on the slider. But you could easily just get another one of these and put it on the camera, and then put it under your camera and then have that control as well. The old bolt is great for a number of reasons. Number one, it is rechargeable just by a micro USB cord. Um, number two, it has controllable speeds. So you can go really, really slow in time-lapse mode. You can go normal speed, which is still pretty slow, and then you can go fast. So let me get into how you use this and how you put this on your Rhino slider. Now this is only if you have a Rhino slider with the, um, with the pulley system and the flywheel, which if you don't have the flywheel, you need the flywheel. The flywheel is like night and day difference between having no flywheel. It's amazing, you should get it. If you don't have it, get it. Okay, um, all you do, so I had laying around a magic clamp, a ball head, little 90 degree ball head thing, and then a friction arm. Now if you don't have the magic clamp and the friction arm and the ball head laying around, I just found something on Amazon that I am about to buy for myself to try out, and it's by Newer and it's $21, and it is a magic clamp with a friction arm connected to it, like just just, just like that. You don't need a bunch of parts. This has three parts, you don't need it, it comes as one, comes as one big part. Um, so I'm about to order that at 21. So this is 40 bucks. The O bolt is 40 bucks. And if you don't have the friction arm and everything, that would be another 21 bucks. So $61 for motion time lapse. That says pretty good. The friction arm. You take your O bolt and you're going to put that um, aluminum piece on top, the little metal tube on top, and then you're going to screw the O bolt onto the um, friction arm. So all you do is you take your friction, your um, you take your magic clamp. And you're gonna clamp it onto your light stand or whatever stand you have that's holding up your um, slider. Then you need to position your O-bolt so it's straight and the metal tube that's on top that you just attached is in between the pulley system on your Rhino slider. So effectively it's acting as a gear turning your pulley system. Now the secret to this is getting this as close to the edge of the um, slider as possible. So it gets as much tension as possible on the um, on the actual on the actual um, piece itself. That way it doesn't slip when it's spinning the uh, your rubber pulley. And so this is me out shooting this morning with it. Um, and this is a time lapse um, that I just did this morning. Uh, I'm kind of amateur. This is like my one of my very first time lapses, so don't judge me. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you get the motion and everything with it. Um, it's awesome. It just gives it, it. It just makes great dynamic shots for your um, with your slider. Um, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below. If there's like a certain thing you don't understand about it, just ask me, and I'll make a little separate video for you or whatever, so I can show you exactly how it works. Um, give me a thumbs up if this helped you save some money. I appreciate it. Thumbs up help, and then I will put a link in the description to everything below that you need. All in the description. It's all cheap. It's on Amazon. It's, on, it's like 60 bucks for everything. So I appreciate you guys watching. And I hope you get this and make some amazing time lapses. Bye.